All right, good morning, guys. Uh, today, or this morning, I'm going to be showing you how to configure a router to use a AAA server for authentication. So we're going to use either Radius or TACAX. Today, we're going to use Radius. And uh, let's get into it. Let's get this topology set up. Let's get a router and a PC and a server and a switch. Really basic topology here. So we're going to configure the devices before we hook them up. So we're going to configure the router first. And uh, you can see over here on the left hand side I have my IP addresses all set up so you can copy my topology. So go into gigabit 000 and input the IP address 1.1. Oops, I messed something up. 192.168.1.1. 24-bit subnet mask and then turn it on. We'll go to PC3, go to Config, Settings, Input the Default Gateway. We're going to leave the DNS server blank because we're not going to use a DNS server. And go to Fast Ethernet 0 and put in your PC's IP address, which is 1.3 with a 24-bit mask. And close that. Go into Server 3. Let's change the name. AAA server. Let's go to the server. Go to config, input the default gateway, and input the IP address for the server, which is 1.2, the 24-bit mask. Go to services, and then AAA. And the client name, so the client is the device that you're trying to authenticate into. So we're going to try and authenticate into the router. So the client name is router3. The client IP address is 192.168.1.1. That's the router's IP. And then this, the secret, which is also known as the key, is going to be Cisco. The server type, we could choose TACX or Radius. I'm going to choose Radius. And then hit Add. Go to User Setup. Have your username and then your password. And hit Add. So that's your account. Um, so we're all set here. Make sure you turn it on and we're good to go. Let's connect the devices using the auto cable feature. And uh, they're going to converge here in a second. STP is doing its thing. Let's go into the CLI of the router and, and clear that. And go, to, go into global configuration mode and type in AAA new dash model and then radius dash server you would now if you do if you chose TACAX you would write TACAX right there radius server host and then the host is the IP address for the AAA server so that's 192.168.1.2 then you type in key key is also the password which is Cisco and hit enter next command is AAA authentication login and the next part is the name of the AAA server which is going to be AAA all capital letters and then the word group and then the server you chose which is radius hit enter so the next thing we need to do is we need to set it up so that when we attempt to telnet into the router it chooses the radius server for authentication so we'll go line vty04 and then we'll type in login authentication and then the name of the AAA server which is AAA in capital letters and we're good to go there so we can exit out of that and the next thing I want to do is I want to test the connectivity between the PC and the router and the PC and the, and the uh, server so we're going to go to command prompt in PC3 and we're going to ping the router and we're getting responses, so that's good. We have connectivity. And then we're going to ping the server as well, 192.168.1.2. And we're going to ping the server, and we have connectivity to the server. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to attempt to telnet into the router. And the router should use the AAA server to authenticate the PC. So we're going to telnet 192.168.1.1. And there we go. It's asking us for a username. Uh, username is Chris, like we set it up before when we, were, when we were setting up the server. Password is Cisco. And this takes a second, 
so once you type in the password, it'll take it'll take a couple seconds for it to uh, authenticate you, but it will authenticate you, and uh, we should be accessing the router. So there we go. We've accessed the router, and we're good to go. So that is how you configure a router to use a AAA server for authentication.